varicose veins of the lower extremity is not just a cosmetic issue. When veins of the lower extremities fail to work properly, excessive blood and pressure accumulates in the legs, and this leads to symptoms such as aching heaviness, restless legs, burning and itching, and even in more serious cases can lead to skin damage and ulcerations. Retreatment of varicose veins once meant a trip to the operating room, multiple incisions, and a protracted recovery period. Nowadays, those procedures have been largely replaced by less invasive in-office procedures that can be completed in one day. Radiofrequency ablation is the most common treatment for large varicose veins of the lower extremity. Radiofrequency ablation is where an IV is established in the leg and a catheter or tube is inserted into the affected vessel. After the leg has been anesthetized, heat is applied to the vein and the vein is closed through cautery. Other treatments may involve phlebectomies where small incisions about two to three millimeters are placed on the affected leg and larger surface varicosities can be removed. Sclerotherapy is another treatment where a medication causes irritation of the inner lining of the vessels causing the veins to clot. A new or minimally invasive procedure that involves injection of surgical glue into varicose veins has recently been offered at Tanner Hospital. This too can be performed in the office with minimal to no anesthesia. After vein procedures are completed, we encourage patients to resume their normal activities without restriction. We encourage people to go back to work the day after procedure and most people are going to have mild discomfort that can be easily treated with over-the-counter pain medications. If you have varicose veins or suffer from symptoms of varicose veins, such as aching, heaviness, burning, itching, restless legs, or wounds that fail to heal in the lower extremities, I encourage you to contact Carrollton Surgical Group at 770-834-3336. I'd be happy to see you in consultation.